Hey everybody, this is Petey from Spinarack, and I told you I would do a video on um, Berserker. Why did I want to do a video on Berserker? Because it reconnects the team of Keanu Reeves and Steve Scrooge, right? So this arc of Berserker, Poetry of Madness, reunites one of the storyboard artists for The Matrix. He also did Ecto Kid with the Wachowskis, and now he's working with Keanu on this comic book. So I did a video on this, so you can check it out. This is Scrooge's, um, they basically gave the, the people in the studio a comic book so they could see what they were gonna shoot. And this worked very well to sell the story. Here is obviously um, Trinity doing her thing just to give them an idea. And of course, they weren't stuck to this thing as much, but they did as much as they could. And the bullet time kind of has a comic book effect of freezing that moment of action. Now, I haven't read this one yet, but I looked through it and it's pretty violent. So let's just take it as, as, as what it's worth. The full violence, right? So we have Atlantis. So this is gonna establish, and Steve Scrooge is writing this. He's been writing his stuff, I think since Wolverine. He did feel like he was writing, um, what's that thing? Gambit, but um, that's neither here nor there. So Atlantis, we have all these savages. And he does very clean, he's gotten, he's moved more towards um, Jeff Darrow but he's very good, right? So you can get the storytelling, right? Tell them to stop. Unit the Berserker, and they don't believe it, but he goes into action. And it's pretty gruesome, right? And Scrooge does kind of the Frank Miller doing the the descriptive stuff. And basically, he's just going to tear apart everybody, right? That's nice. Get some blowback. <laughs> you know, this is just, it's just fun. I mean, I like also like Jeff Darrow's stuff. I'm kind of behind. Oh my goodness, look how brutal this is. This is the most brutal thing. I will say, now that I stopped this, I will say that um, when I was a kid, the most brutal comics to me was New Guys number eight, The Death Wish of the Terrible of the Turpin, and Muhammad, Superman vs. Muhammad Ali. It just felt like brutal, a brutal fight, right? So Berserker. It's stuck, but it's a little worse for wear. Like, look at how beat up he is, but he gets cheers. The people are from Atlantis, and then, of course, he heals. Mm. And then you have a little history, how he came to be, how he came to save the king. All right, and now he's the defender. And a little story set up. He does a great Keanu. Right. Let's see, he's not too happy about something. They got a plan to catch him, and there's a Get captured the whole it was a whole ruse. Well, they got Berserker in there. He breaks out, oh, and then they have um, the god Chaluthu is back, and he's destroying that great land. But Keanu's free, and we get the Berserker for versus Chaluthu, right? And he's just gutting it. It's just as gross as anything. Then it can't hurt him. But then it 
Good Lord, this is like a really crazy one. I couldn't wait for this. <laughs> I would also say, um, Sea Crows did a great book. We stand guard for thee, which is kind of the like a serious. This was a this to, um, Canadian dystopia, but um, guard for thee would be the term for the you know kind of the Canadian thing, which would be sort of like the Alpha Flight. That's how Guardian got his name, right? Good Lord, he's pretty upset. So this is just a one shot. I thought it was a series. But, um... There you go. Just a fun romp with the Berserker. Um, I really should check out the other Berserker stuff because I'm. I did a, the other video where I was talking about how much a fan I was of um, Ron Garney. So, um, check it out. Spinner Rack out. <laughs>